Oh, I've been trying to put this over with. Mm, we're going to do it as the next Mario or Wink. Yet they fail every time. Her games always sell less than LD Gods. Why is that? And yeah, Metroid as a franchise hasn't been very successful. Okay. Let's not all be kidding ourselves when it comes to Metroid. Okay. Metroid has never really been a huge franchise, but Nintendo, but it is one of Nintendo's first franchises they have ever created behind Mario and Zelda. That's probably why they keep trying to push Metroid, because it was like, you know, heck, gamers have even named the whole fucking genre after fucking Metroid, okay? I don't know why, but people have done that, okay? They, they the whole Metroidvania thing, okay? Which is pretty funny that that, that, that and Castlevania are considered two of the most influential games of all time. That they get a genre named after them. I still find it dumbfounded to that day that we actually let that happen. But, you know, like, does Mario have a genre named after him? Oh, wait, Mario games are just platformers. They're not called Mario's. That would be fucking weird. But, Nintendo has been trying to push Metroid. But again, it's just like if some of Nintendo's other lesser known friends is like Pikmin. Nintendo has been trying to push Pikmin on the people. And yes, Pikmin 4 was the most successful Pikmin game in history, okay? But still did not sell as well as Mario or Zelda, okay? Heck, it took it to the Switch era for Zelda to finally crack the 10 million copy mark without remakes or real releases, okay? With no Zelda game before ever selling over a million copy, 10 million copies, okay? All the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are the only two Zelda games that ever managed to do that. Okay, Nintendo has been trying to push Samus, and I've been trying to push Metroid for years. Same thing with Kirby, they've been trying to push Kirby for years, but the general mainstream audience doesn't really care all too much about Kirby games themselves. Okay, the problem is, Nintendo has a few big IPs, okay, which have grown in number, actually, other than Mario and Pokemon, you know, and maybe Zelda. Animal Crossing is one of Nintendo's big IPs, okay? Splatoon, despite being a very recent IP, is one of Nintendo's big IPs, selling 10 million on the Switch, okay? Smash Bros, which is an amalgamation of many Nintendo IPs, is one of Nintendo's biggest franchises as well, okay? Nintendo has had lots of successful franchises, but the thing is, most of Nintendo's most successful games are Mario games, okay? That's how it's always been, okay? And really, Metroid isn't really that overrated. It's, you know, mostly, of course, Nintendo fans to play, play only, you know, Nintendo games. And also, Metroid hasn't been around, you know, hasn't had many new games. Okay, like actual new games. The only new game Metroid got was Metroid Dread, and it instantly became the best story Metroid game. Thus, people were out of interest wanting to play Metroid for the first time. And yep, that's about this video here, and goodbye.